Welcome to the Bankus Show on Patreon. Of course, the first 10 minutes are free. Please like and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, get ready because we're going to be talking about some of the things that have been going on. I've been having 24-7 propaganda being pumped into my brain via every single possible uh, outlet. I'm on X watching all the crazy shit that's happening. I have the TV on all day on uh, mainstream media propaganda news. I also have other things to talk about after the first 10 minutes, which of course are free. We're going to be talking about some of the things uh, Armin and I hate about uh, the comedy communities across this great North American plane. But please uh, welcome to the show, of course, Daniel Boardman, and Armin R. Bobby are here today, and we're going to be talking about some important things that are going on. Of course, we have the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump. We have everything going on with Jews. We know the Jews are responsible for um, 95% of the world's problems, if not more, according to uh, X and many of the people on there. So uh, let's jump into it. First, we're going to go to Daniel Boardman. Daniel. <laughs> what has been happening? Uh, Tel Aviv is under attack. We know that it's justified, of course, because uh, and, and Justin Trudeau actually has just hired a new liberal MP uh, or, or from the Houthis uh, region. I uh, believe her last name is Palestine. So Palestine? we know I uh, can bring that up. But um, while I bring that up, Daniel, just give us give us a, a little What's snapshot. Uh, What's yeah, going on with I, Israel? Israel, uh, the Houthis attacked it, like they said they have been doing. So the Houthis, this is just yeah, the Houthis. These are it's just more Islamic Republic Rand Act militias. Sorry. Oh, Kudu Hersi. Kudu Hersi attacked. <laughs> she attacked. She got ninety k on Instagram. And to attack Israel. Oh, well, she That's probably. Sick, though, if you don't, if you story, don't know what he's talking about, if you don't know what he's talking about, Hudu Hersey, a Canadian comedian, uh, who uh, somehow got admitted to the United States, although she hates America, believes it is a colonialist hell. But uh, let's actually pull up who to for a comedian. moment before we get into what's going on with Israel. Let's just go quickly to who do Hersey. How do you spell her last name? I assume it ends in I. I don't know, man. Oh, here we go. So this is a uh, who do Hersey. <laughs> it's because wait, wait, the Houthis. It just sounds so. It just sounds. <laughs> Sounds like she's just doing a tour in Tel Aviv. So what you're saying is this? <laughs> They're being attacked by a Muslim woman speaking. There's <laughs> terrible comedy going on in Tel Aviv. Oh, One look at person that. dead. That's, Brought that's to you the, by ha ha ha. That's the look. You, that's the look you give in airport security to your boy. You're like, sure, oh, we're about to do something. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's seat. just let's just quickly before we get into it. I, I know we were gonna make. Like, let's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just watch this ten minutes. Let's just, just dive into trauma. Ten ten minutes. Minutes. <laughs> before we get into it, <laughs> free platform to <laughs> promote her. We're actually promoting who to her. You know, the, the free part of for your fans is just here's some here's some. I like that she matched her uh, hijab to the curtain behind her, so it's like she, guys, she let's just dive into the like trauma of it all. Um, <laughs> My dad, very supportive, loves my comedy, very supportive of my career. My mom hates it, okay, because life is about balance. And <laughs> all right, so this is the woman responsible for the attack. In <laughs> yeah, this is the Tel Aviv. That's currently backed by Let's Iran to attack <laughs> Tel Aviv. This is Iranian comedy, folks. So this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is funded by. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> She's got the diabetes, and we had to. <laughs> this is obviously one of the funniest comedians that has ever come out of Canada, uh, as we know, and she's uh, one of the most popular with over 99,000 followers. Um, and followers of, of course, I, I, I mean followers of the Quran. So <laughs> what I'm trying to understand, no, we, we are joking about that, um, but in all seriousness, so Israel 
always under attack. We know that, but they are responsible. What, Borbin, can you explain why everybody thinks that the Jews are responsible for all the Muslims coming to Western yeah, country, Western countries? Yeah, it's I don't know because people just want to blame the Jews for it, and there are probably some idiot left wing Jews who think like idiot left wing ideas are are good, but you can find idiot lefties of all like walks who think their own countries are terrible and like you know oh we let's just migrate mass migration away all the problems. Um, I thought it was like a George Soros conspiracy, like he's trying to weaken the West or some shit. That's always yeah, the right wing thing. Yeah, that like I've seen. listen, Soros is lefty too, but Soros funds all the anti-Israel organizations, so it's all just like mixed up and like everyone. People can think whatever they want to think on in the modern world because you can search whatever you want to find and like just you know anyone can be mad at anyone. But yeah, we're, we're Jews are pretty good at being you know hated by everyone. There's always a uh, there's always a Jew there. <laughs> this is the most Jewish answer. They're like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, that answer <laughs> kind of made me hate you for being Jewish. <laughs> like, like listening to that response, I was like, well, why don't we just use that? Is that well, part of the thing is that people who say like, oh, Jews are bringing all these refugees so that they can, you know, have a better. I, I don't really understand what they think that the reasoning is for that. But the Jews Maybe it's that are. they want the whole world to know what it's like to live next to scary Muslims and then everyone's just going to be okay with Palestine. No, the long bringing... lefties are just naive. Like, they think, oh, like, we'll bring in people from all these different places and it's and I'll be nice to them and then that will make them good people and then I will prove that we can all get along and coexist. Why do Jewish are. people have such a, like, because most cultures, it's like they're either traditionally conservative or left, but why do Jews have, like, conservative Jews and then also, like, left-wing Jews? What do you Why mean? That's like, like a, that's like that's every like, type of no, person. No, there's there's no like Italian lefties though. Not really. Yes, yeah, there, there are. are. Yes, there are. Why do you think? When have you meet them? When Mussolini was. I mean, the Mussolini was the inventor of fascism. He came out of the Socialist Trade Union Party. It's like, it was Italian socialism, and then like, like of course. What do you mean like Italian? They have they They're have Europeans. multiple they have multiple They're parties Europeans. in Italy. Yeah. No, but I'm saying you like, never yeah, you Greek, never like, meet you never meet like an Italian guy that's like super liberal. But you'll meet like an old Jew that's like super. Lefty. Yes, you do. There's tons, yeah. tons, tons. That's that's a idiotic statement. But no, there's tons of people from. Well, this is the problem: is that every race, religion on Earth pretty much has multiple opinions on politics and other things. However, it seems to be more so that the Muslim or Islamic or Arab communities have a more of a tendency to lean one way, which is just in favor of whatever's best for the expansion of the religion, which I mean, that's my vague understanding of what's going on with that. But I think that's being overshadowed right now by everything that's going on with Donald Trump, which some people are saying, Oh, look, they're doing, you know, Israel is behind this because they want to take attention off of Gaza. And yeah, but these people you know, are retarded, like Nick Flint is people. And like those, like it, it, like they're legit retarded. Like, Yes, the, the Israel is flooding the, the West with refugees from Islamic countries because that way they can take allied countries who have had a strong history of allying with Israel and issues and turn them into enemy countries by subverting them into Islamic theocracies. Like, it, it makes no sense, but people just believe it because they want to believe all types of crazy things. But, like, the more important thing is, like, you get it right. Like, yeah, there's, there's people who are, like, legit anti-Semites from left, right, or hardcore Islamists who are using the issue, Israel issue to push chaos, but, like, at the end of the day, like, there's more important things, like, world's falling, like, they, they tried to kill Trump. Like, that's... like that, I that's think one of the more movie. obvious things and conspiracies that's happening right now is that, I mean, tr they tried to assassinate Donald Trump, and then within, what is it, been less than a week, or just over a week, and now we have... It's less than a week. It was Sunday. So, uh, and now we have the largest internet outage um and in recorded history that's yeah. essentially what's happening here and i can bring this up for a second internet outage latest uh we have this is this is the crowd strike says global it disruptions not cyber attack um post barrel internet outages outages plaguing small businesses so these you know this news outlet is blaming it on the <laughs> blaming it on the hurricane that's already over that i mean the hurricane yeah. was supposed to be a, a big issue that clearly wasn't that big of an issue but you do have 
these floods in Toronto as well. So thank you for listening to the podcast. The rest of this podcast is available on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Ben Bank is B E N B A N K A S. Join today. It's only like four bucks a month. It helps out a lot and you get a full bonus podcast every week. Appreciate you guys. And we'll see you over on Patreon.